on Narwhal Nation. I am back once again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links guide. And today I will be showing you how to farm with Mystical Beast Cerberus. One of the easiest to put together farming decks in my opinion. And this works for a majority of Legendary Duelists. It's a very good farming deck. I know for a fact it works with Yami Yugi, Odeon. Uh, does not work with the Shizu, does not work with Kaiba. It does work with Weevil, works with... Um, Who's the other one? <laughs> Does not work with my. Works with Weevil. Hang on one second. Let me see who else. Got to change the series here. Got to change it up. Change it up on him. Hold on. Uh, works with Joey. Unless you get unlucky with Time Wizard. Uh, will work with Joey unless Time Wizard, of course, just messes up your entire day. Um, going to see... Sometimes it has worked with Joey sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. Tay Gardner it works with as well. Weevil works with, like I said. Rex Raptor it works very well with. Mako, I believe it works well with. Bandit Keith it does not work well with. And Odeon it works good with. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you this deck and uh, show you guys how to build it. So you're going to want to use, you're going to want to use a character that is able to have draw sense low level or draw sense light or sorcery conduit and yugi is the only one i believe that gets sorcery conduit so um that's the only uh, person you're gonna be able to play it with if you want to use sorcery conduit i do, I do it does not really matter as long as you get draw sense low level or draw sense light either one of those would work as well but so basically what happens is you fill up your entire deck with spell cards and then you uh, have one or two Mystical Beast services. It works with up to three, but I just run two because I don't want to overload my deck with too many extra um, services. Shard Agreed, you should have a decent amount of like one or two for sure. Add a Shard Agreed in there. Uh, maybe add some healing in there, like a Supremacy Berry or um, Dian Keto. I do not have a Supremacy Berry, but I do actually have two Dian Keto, so I will add both those in there. The reason for that is you want to be able to look at... Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, if you get attacked and you lose a bunch of life points, you're going to be able to want to regain those life points uh, if it's a tough duel, if you can't activate your skill yet. So uh, I also throw some Econs in there because you're going to need those to turn your opponent's monsters into attack position. You're going to for sure need a stop defense to turn your opponent's monster if they uh, set it. You're going to need a stop defense to be able to flip it over. And then you're going to use your Econ to turn it into attack position. Either the same turn or different turns. So it doesn't matter. As long as they don't tribute set. Uh, I run a cup of ace just in case on the off chance that I uh, draw two cards. Uh, you need to be careful running this card if you do play, if you do use this deck for Taya, however, because Taya uh, almost decks herself out a majority of the time. So um, if you use Cup of Ace, that's just going to add to it, and it's going to be a headache, honestly. Uh, if you're using this deck with Yami Yugi, you're not going to be able to farm Yami Yugi, so um, I don't know, maybe don't use it with Yami Yugi. <laughs> uh, try and get a draw sense low level on one of your other. Uh, characters if you want to be able to farm Yami Yugi. However, we're going to go in to a farming duel with Rex Raptor, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this deck works. Uh, basically, the main thing in this deck is you want to conserve all of your uh, spells until you are able to set, able to summon a Mystical Beast Cerberus onto the field. And what Sorcery Conduit does is I believe after 1500 or 2000, oh, doesn't even matter. But what Sorcery Conduit does is after 1500 or uh, 2000 damage, I don't really remember which one, it might be somewhere in the middle there, uh, you are able to activate it and the first card on your deck will be a Spellcaster. As you can see, Myst Mythical Beast Cerberus is a Spellcaster. And uh, if you only have two Spellcasters in your deck and they're both Mythical Beast Cerberus, obviously you're going to get a Mythical Beast Cerberus. So, that's essentially what it boils down to. We get lucky there on a heads, the cup of ace, shard of greed, get that shard rolling, uh, pay a thousand. Yes, we're going to do this. So when you end up getting down to your, um, 
hang on, sorry, selecting a tribute. When you get up, oh my god, when you get to your uh, myth, Mythical Beast Cerberus, you're going to want to try and lower your life points down as much as possible. So you can get a come from behind victory, or not a come from behind victory, so you can get a low life point victory, I'm sorry which is under a thousand life points remaining, I believe. And how you get a comeback victory is in the last turn, you need to have lower life points than them before you win. So I'll show you how to do that as well. But this is where, this is why we start running enemy controller, is because now since his monsters face up, I can just flip him into attack position with the enemy controller and attack into him essentially. And the reason why this works so well with Mythical Beast Cerberus probably should have said this at the beginning, is every time you activate a spell, his attack points get increased by 500. So that's why you need to run multiple spells uh, in your deck. And that's also why I run Yami and equip spells, is because it just ends up helping uh, make it go faster so you don't have to essentially just sit there and spell over and over again. If you have an equip spell that gives him 500 attack, you're going to get 1,000 attack just off that one equip spell. <laughs> So that will be very helpful. Uh, he ends his turn. We have nine cards left. I think Shard of Greed activates. It does. We're probably going to activate Yellow Luster Shield. We're not going to do Diane Keto. Yellow Luster Shield. And make sure you save your Ririoku until the end. Because uh, it, just, it just works out better at the end. I don't know why. I just prefer saving it to the end because you get 500 from the Ryoku and then if you save it to the end you then you get half their attack on top of it but if you don't save it to the end then you don't because obviously it goes away after one turn uh, target two monsters banish I'm just gonna use this just to get the um, attack up plus if you use Ryoku it weakens their monster so you don't have to get as high uh, in the attack points, so like if I use it right now, he'll, get on, he'll go down to 900 attack points and uh, with the econ when I flip him over and I won't have to get up to um, I cannot math 118,000, I only have to get up to 109,000 to be able to get the 10,000 damage let's see the reason why I like the banishing card Gravedigger Ghoul is because uh, it's got cool card art for one and two. I like it because uh, for Rex and for some other characters, they have a card that is able to banish their monsters in the graveyard and give them life points. So if that happens, obviously you might not get your 10,000 if they do it the turn that you attack for game. There's a prismatic econ. That brings me to my next point, actually. I go on a little bit of a tangent here. If you have prismatics or glossy cards you're going to want to play as many of those as possible you get 100 points for each glossy card you play and 400 for each prismatic card you play so definitely definitely put prismatic and glossy cards in your deck uh hopefully he does not actually tribute this i don't think he can thank you okay so we're down to our last card and it's a mythical beast cerberus that's funny so what we're going to do is we're actually going to summon him, and we are going to, how do I want to do this? We're going to Econ with the Prismatic, and we're going to switch his monster into attack, so I'll give him both 500, and then we're going to Spell Book of Secret Arts, Book of Secret Arts, just kidding, give it to your higher monster, and your lower monster goes up by 500 as well. And now we only have one more spot to do this, so what we're going to do is we're going to Diane Keto. Getting the 10,000 points is more important to me than um, getting a comeback victory at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. I'm actually, I'm still going to Econ his monster, or not Econ, I'm sorry, Ryoku his monster and give it to mine. Because I think that's just a better play right now. They both get boosted by 500. Now I have 113. And that's game. So there's my 10,400 damage. Farming with Cerberus. Against Rex Raptor. And let's see how we did.
the end of this duel. Let's see what our score, final score was. So 2,500 for the comeback. So we did still get the comeback, that's good. 200 for Prismatic. As you can see, I played nine Glossy cards, so I got 900 points for a Glossy card. And didn't really get two good rewards this time, but you know, over 9,000 damage plus 3,000. Got 8,200 score. So um, this will definitely help you out, guys. It'll help you out farm. This works for a majority of Legendary Duelists. And uh, if you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content, please leave a like, comment, tell me what you want to see next, and make sure to subscribe. Would really appreciate it. Thank you for the views. Goodbye.